Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm back. It's Air Force Shales. Another pickup video. What I'm going to show you today is all the pickups that I got from the summer. This covers July, August, and most of September. Um, yeah, this covers most of it. I did pick up some other stuff, but I've already traded those things away um, to hook up uh, fellow collectors or to get other things I need. So I'm going to show you what I have left. I got some good deals from various, um, various locations. So let me start. So the first thing I'm going to show you... Um, there's a Goodwill that's close to my home, and when I'm driving home from work, I stop by this Goodwill. You know, I usually stop by maybe two times out of the week um, to check if they have anything. Um, they converted a Goodwill. It used to be a regular Goodwill store, and they converted it to an outlet center now. So, an outlet center, it's a dollar for all clothing. All media is four. Um, you get four for a dollar. That includes video games, CDs, uh, DVDs, and records. So. Pick up some good stuff from there. Some of the stuff is just stuff I just want to try, and you can't beat it for a quarter. So let me show you some of the things I, I got and that I, I kept so I can try them out. First game is Grudge Warriors for the PlayStation. Looks kind of like a, like kind of a, a weird uh, type of game, like you're on a space or something, driving around. It's like a, a cheap twisted metal, so we'll see how that plays. Sydney 2000 um, for the Dreamcast. Ship Wreckers um, looks interesting. Uh, greatest Hits version of Croc. A great game that I've already had, but uh, couldn't pass it for a quarter. Pass on another collector. Child of Eden, great game. Another game I already have, The Simpsons Road Rage. Um, pretty fun game. If you ever played that, check it out. I am already have it for the Xbox, but pass on another collector. Some, I'm sure someone out there might need it. Godfather the game. I remember playing this um, back in the day. Um, it was alright. It was uh, Mafia is better to me. Um, but Godfather, it's it's alright. Mario Strikers Charge. Death Junior. Blowout. Dynasty Warriors 2. And then the Monkey King, the Legend, the Legend Begins. So, picked all that stuff up. Like I said, it's a quarter each, four for a dollar, so you can't pass it up. Um, I've been going there lately. I haven't found anything in a while. Um, they've been bringing a lot more, they've been bringing a lot of clothes out, but I haven't seen a lot of media lately. It's the same old stuff from last month. So, hopefully, they'll start picking it up again uh, with tax season coming soon. People starting to donate um, donate items before the year end. So, hopefully, there'll be some good stuff. And then my other favorite spot I'd like to go to, like I said, it's on the way from it's on it's on the way home for me. So stop by the Savers. The Savers has been very good to me the past couple of months. We find a lot of good stuff there. Um, I have a lot more stuff that I've found there, but I'm only going to show you what I've kept. Most of the stuff I've already traded and flipped for the things that I needed. But the things I kept. Um, what's good about Savers is. Every time you go to Savers, if it's one in your local area, make sure you donate something. You, if you donate an item, um, they'll give you a coupon. And it's a coupon that they, you can put a stamp. They put stamps on there where it's 5% off, 10%, and it adds up to, I think it was, the one I usually get 35% off. So every time I go there, 35% off, and you get military discount on top of that. Um, they stopped giving military discount. Uh, it was, I think it was in the September they stopped doing that. Um, because now they give you a, a discount card that you can use and on certain days you get discounts of certain items um, based on the sticker color. So, let me show you what I got. All these games, um, they were 45% off. 35% off coupon I had and then 10% off military. So the first one is Star Gladiator. And as you see the sticker there, $4.99. So you do the math, 45% off that. Pandemonium, um, $4.99. And Pandemonium is a pretty good game, underrated. It was also released for the Sega Saturn. You should check it out if you haven't played it yet. Soul Blade, an arcade classic. Bushido Blade 2. And like I said, all these are $4.99. Bloody Roar. Wish that series would come back. Hudson Soft would bring it back. And then it was funny. So they had Harvest Moon games there. Harvest Moon, a Wonderful Life. This one was $4.99. And then they had the Innocent Life one, the futuristic Harvest Moon. Um, for the PlayStation 2, and that was $7.99. Not sure why they priced this more than the other games. Who knows? Um, but yeah, Savers and Goodwills, that's stuff I got from them um, over the summer. And a lot of people, they hate going to the Goodwill, Savers. Um, 
I always find stuff there every now and then. Um, not always, but I find stuff every now and then. And when I do, it's always uh, stuff that I need. So I will continue to go. For collectors are getting frustrated, not finding anything at Goodwill Savers, keep it up. I'm, I'm sure you'll find something soon. So some of the other stuff that I picked up, um, just basic stuff to fill the holes in my collection. First, I'll start with the Sega Genesis stuff. I got some games that I needed. First game is Socket, uh, kind of like a Sonic the Hedgehog ripoff, but it was fun. Light Crusaders, dungeon crawler game. Um, haven't had a chance to play it yet, because um, I know I'm gonna spend a few, probably a few days on this one. So, but I can't wait to check it out. Phantom 2040. I heard from uh, one of my boys that this was a all right game, so I said, let me check it out. It was on my list of um, the the get for the Genesis, anyways. And I found it for a good price. Robocop 3, uh, not the greatest game. Pocahontas, and then the game I was really excited to get was Task Force Harrier EX. I love this game. Um, very very happy to find it. I've been looking for this game for about a year. And um, finally, it popped up for a good price online. So, Genesis stuff. Love the Genesis, as you know. Um, there's probably a few more games I'm gonna get for the Genesis, and I'll be done. Um, don't need any. Don't need a lot of sports games that are out there. And I, I pretty much have most of the games that I want for, for the system. So, um, of course, there's new things out there. When I'm watching YouTube, a lot of videos of people doing reviews on games. I might see some I like. Hopefully. And I'll be able to add it to the Genesis collection if it's something I like. But pretty much, I think it's probably about, about 10 more games I, I want for the Genesis. And then I'll be done with that. Um, picked up some Wii stuff. Uh, these games I've been looking for for a while. But I was waiting for, for them to drop to the right price. And I, and I found them for very good prices. So very happy about it. First one is Kirby. Um, Return to the Dreamland. Uh, not bad. I, I know I played this. Um... My son um, played it too. He completed the game. I didn't complete it. I played for a little bit. I watched him play it and it looked like it was a pretty good game. Mario Sports Mix. Um, very fun game. Um, play this all the time with my son. We have a lot of have a lot of fun with this one. But and like I said, for some reason this game hasn't dropped below 30. Um, so I, I think it's one of those games that you know, it's one of those late late release games that didn't sell much. I think the same thing with Kirby. Kirby, you don't really see it anywhere under forty dollars, but both of those games I got for very, very cheap. And then another game, Punch Out. And man, playing this game it, it wore me out. I cannot lie, it wore me out. It was fun, but it, it definitely wore me out. Um and like I said this game, even though it's released as a Nintendo Select is still going for twenty and twenty and up for it. So um got it for cheap though. Good game. Definitely will tire you out if uh, if you're a fan of that game. Let me know if anybody's completed that punch out game. It's hard to me. <laughs> so some other stuff that I got, um, some other fillers that I needed. The Turbo Graphics Collection is getting uh, it's getting bigger and bigger. I love the Turbo, and I have Syphic to thank for that. Um, he's really the one that put me on to the Turbo um, a few years ago, and it's a great. They have a great library, a library of games. Um, and it's just a fun system to collect for, and there's so many games out there. One game that I needed, and I finally found it online for a very good steal, was Chu Man Fu. Um, and pretty fun, pretty fun game, pretty fun puzzle game. Um, it goes usually the price for this goes around fifty to sixty, so it's not it's not not cheap. But if you find it for a good price, definitely pick it up. It's it's worth having. Uh, another game I picked up. I already have it. Um, swap meet fine. This place also gives military discount. It was a three ninety five, fifty percent off at the um, it's the Army Vet, it's, um, Army Vet thrift store, and it was three ninety five, fifty percent off. So I have it. Street Fighter Alpha three. We can never have enough Street Fighter games. Good to trade and flip for other things. Uh, let's see here. I got a completed box. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? I haven't had a chance to play it yet. Um, don't know if it's good, LGN, so, you know, other games are in NES, so we'll see how it is. And let's see here, Top Gear 3000 for a Super Nintendo. I got this complete. I remember used to, I, back in the days to play Top Gear 2 on a Sega Genesis for hours and hours, days, weeks. I used to be one of my favorite games with the Genesis. And I didn't even know this game was even released um, until a few years ago. And I had my eye on it, just waiting for it to fly for the right price. Found it, um, complete in box, very happy to um, have it. And it's so fun. I've been playing it, 
And it's all right, but with me playing Forza Motorsports on the Xbox One, it doesn't compare. <laughs> so, but it's still a fun game, and I'm glad to have it. Another game I've been waiting to get for the right price is Ghoul Patrols. Um, very, very, very fun game. It reminds me of Zombie Ace My Neighbors. I think some people said this is a sequel to it. I have to check, but very, very fun game. If you love Zombie Ace My Neighbors, definitely pick up Ghoul Patrol. And a few more games. Uh, I did go to the swap meet. I think it was the 4th of July weekend. I think that was the last time I've been in the swap meet. In the, I think it was the last time I went. I think it was 4th of July weekend. And then I went one more time after that, I think. And I haven't been, um, I haven't been in a while. Um, out here in SoCal, the swap meets are very, are very competitive. And back in the day when I used to go to the swap meets out here, I'd show up there at 7, 30, 8 o'clock and leave with a bag full of games. Now, I see people, I see people getting, getting there 5 a.m. in the morning. Before the vendors even set up, there's people waiting for them to pull their stuff off the truck and look through their things. And... That's just too early for me. <laughs> so, um, I used to go to swap meet um, usually twice a month. I, I try to go, but I haven't been in a, in a while because like so weekends are very valuable to me. Spend time with family members and friends, the kids, and when you wake up that early in the morning to go to swap meet, you're you my whole day is ruined. So, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm I'm getting old, so I can't get up at five or get up at four something in the morning to drive to a swap meet and stay up all day. Keep my kids entertained, the wife, friends, and all that good stuff. So uh, I'll, I'll start going back, but it's it's not going to be what I used to do. Because the swap meet, you know, I used to go look for games, and I still do. But it's more about hanging out with friends. So, But there's so much competition out there. Haven't, haven't been finding a lot lately. So that's why I stopped going for a little bit. But when I, when I last time I was there... Um, I call it a Sega lady. It's a lady that brings a bunch of stuff out. She just dumps all the media out. Everybody has her hands in there reaching for stuff. And uh, my boy, um, uh, Secret Game, Secret Game Stash. He has a great YouTube channel. Check out his videos. Uh, he picked up this game, Ill Believe. And it's one of the one of the few games that I need for the Dreamcast. I think it was uh, at that time. It was uh, one more game I needed. And and this this and another one. I'm not sure. I think maybe it was Last Blade that I got. And he picked it up and said, man, I needed that game. And he said, here you go. Um, didn't charge me, didn't ask for money or anything like that. So I said, for real? He said, yeah, just go ahead. You need it. So finally got Ill Bleed. This is a crazy game. If you all have it, play it. It's very, very fun. Very, very crazy. So definitely check it out. But definitely um, Juan hooked it up. And I always talk about karma. Karma will always come back around. If you if if you pass good karma on to other collectors, it's gonna come back around to you eventually. And it's so funny because last weekend at the SC, at the SC3, and I'll show you what pickups my next video. Um, I had Earthbound, um, Earthbound game that he needed, and um, I remember he hit the veil bleed. So I gave him there. I healed him with this. I gave him the Earthbound for a very very good price. Um, very good price where he was he was shocked. Um, because, you know, it's karma, and you definitely take care of collectors out here, uh, and that's what I believe in doing, and, and so, yeah, it was, uh, it was de definitely cool of him to do that, and definitely appreciate it, but also check out his channel, but again, get ill bleed if you, if you haven't played this game, it's very crazy, um, very, very fun. Last two games I got are Sega CD games, um, Sega CD, there's probably, there's a few games I still need, Keo, of course, but um, right now I'm just trying to get all the RPGs, dungeon crawlers, any shooters that are still remaining that I need for the system. And two games that I have my eye on. Um, it was on my want list and they appeared at the right time. Able to get it, trade some stuff toward it. So basically the games are free. Because um, stuff I traded towards it cost me basically nothing. First game is Dark Wizard. Um, haven't had a chance to play it yet. Um, and the next game I'll show you, I haven't had a chance to play it on the Sega CD. I played it on the PlayStation um, and I have the collector's edition of this game, but I had to get for Sega CD, see if there's any difference, and I'll, I'll see it in a little bit. But Dark Wizard was one of the games I picked up. Can't wait to start playing this. And the final game was Lunar 2, Eternal Blue. And like I said, I have this for the, for the um, Sony PlayStation. That was the collector's edition, which had all the bonus material. This one, um, it's, cost, and honest, it's funny because this one costs a little bit more. Than the collector's edition on the PlayStation, but of course that was a 
um, that was released. There was more of a, um, that game was um, released uh, more widely, um, uh, wildly um, than the other games. So this game is a uh, pretty good. It was a very very fun game. Um, when I used to play it on PlayStation, countless hours I spent on that game. On uh, um, when I used to play it back then on the PlayStation and completed it. So um, definitely glad to have this in the collection and. For the Sega Genesis, there's only a few games out there I still need, and then I'll be done collecting for those systems. So, this is all stuff I got over the summer. Um, a wide variety of stuff, as you can see, that I was able to pick up, and i um, very, very happy about stuff I was able to uh, get. The next video I'll put out will be all my stuff from SC3. SC3 is a local um, gathering that happens usually twice a month, one at an arcade, and then one at, one at um, Steve's house. And Steve is uh, basically the founder of SC3 and uh, we had a great time last weekend a lot of collectors were there um, great fellowship um, I was able to make some good deals pick up some good items um, pass on some great value to friends and I'm sure you'll see that in upcoming videos from all the people I usually hang out with in SoCal, SciFig, Secret Game Stash um, and some other people out there so again thank you for watching the video and my next video will be out very soon take care